Hey guys, hey, hey, let me turn this music off. Ah, uh, there we go. Okay, so just so you know, Meg's signing five coaches today, she says. So she's coming to that diamond retreat. She's going, she's pushing. Um, I need to figure out why that app, I can't get this open. There we go. Okay. Hey, happy end of the month. I am, I hope you guys are all too, because I am so ready for this dumb month to be over. I am over August. It's been a month for me. I don't know about you guys, but it has been a month. Um, so we're ending the month pretty awesome with a bang. A lot of people have got some awesome things working in their businesses, and I'm excited for that. Um, does somebody want to jump into the chatterbox for me real quick and just shout in there that we are live? We don't have a lot of people on today. So I just want to make sure that somebody jumps in there real quick and just says that we're live in here and tell everybody to get their booty on this call. Um, we are going to jump right into things today because we've got goals and it's the end of the month. So we need time to work. Um, and the things that I'm going to share today, I hope will be things you guys can take with you after this call and jump right back. Thank you, Brittany. Um, can jump right back um, into your businesses and work these things. So let me figure out why I can't share this call. Share this screen. Here we go. Brady. All right. So check out this board. We've got 70 new coaches on the team so far this month. So I want to say a huge welcome to all the new coaches. Um, we have a goal of 85 new coaches this month, so make sure we are pushing. That's like, I mean, even just us people on the call, that's less than two people a person. We can do that. Um, we have uh, Brittany Wilkins just landed her month two of success starter, so we have people pushing for success starters still. Next month, we've got a bunch of people who will be locking that in, which I'm very excited about. The road to 500 PV. I want to give huge shout outs to Taylor, Ashley, and Ashley for hitting over 1,000 PV this month. Um, incredible, literally incredible. And we have so many people with 500 PV this month. Linda, Denise, Ashley, Brittany, Brittany, Tasha, Ellie, Leah, Megan, Karen, Jen, Heidi, and Al, uh, Kat. She goes, that's by, she goes by cat, um, have all over 500 PV this month, month, which is incredible. And if you guys notice some of these people here, I'm going to go to the next board are not even, their faces aren't even on this board. That is from residual income guys. That's from residual Shakeology orders, residual customer orders. So that is showing that they're getting a paycheck, even if they are having a slow month and not selling things. That's the importance of getting these people on, um, on Shakeology, on the performance line, getting them. Um, hooked up so that they so that you and them are being fulfilled long term. All right, big shout out to this board, you guys. Look at all these Success Club ten names. This really really excites me. I didn't put circles on them this time, but um, Ashley Grimm, um, she is top. She's at the top of the leaderboard this month. She's at Success Club fourteen, and she's a brand new coach. We've got some coaches from last month that are brand new. We have a ton of faces on this board this month, so I'm so excited for you guys. Um, we've changed more than 116 lives as a team this month, which is incredible. I just, every time I think of these numbers, I relate it back to like my high school. That's more than I graduated. That's like double my class basically. Like that'd be like helping my whole entire high school basically. <laughs> um, and I just think that that's a really incredible way to look at things. Like how many people is 116 people actually? And you think about it, that's a lot of people. It's really cool. So month over month, we keep doing this and it's amazing. All right, we've got some recognizing to do. Sarah is officially a diamond coach and I am so, so, so excited for her. Um, she is in month two of coaching and locked in diamond this month. So, so excited for her. Um, she officially made us a six star qualifying team. So that is incredible. Um, so we are a six star qualifying team as of last week. Um, and this week we're back to five star because I'm an idiot and I let my husband's account go to relief. But that's my fault. And we'll get it back and we will have it going forward. So I'm super excited. We will finish this year at least a six star team. And I'm so excited by that. Um, so success club trip. 
If you haven't registered, please register. Don't know your chances at this point, but the only way to get an invite is if you register. So go to anchorsaway2019.com. This is for new coaches, brand new coaches. If you're on this call listening to the replay, anchorsaway2019.com and make sure you get registered. All right, Coach Summit. Coach Summit's in Indianapolis again next year. We've got our house. We've got more people that are still jumping in to join us. Um, if you want to go to Coach Summit next year with us, just let me know. It's only $50 to reserve your spot in the house and $175 total for the weekend. So the other $125 is due next year. Um, I see some people in the chat box. Um, we've got the house extended times. Steph, how are you not seven star? Weren't you prior five? Yep. Jen is in my second CBC. So she is, so the second CBC is one star. So that's how that works. Um, and uh, anyway, if you want to go to Summit with us next year, like I really, really recommend it. Um, there's some faces that are on this call right now who were there this year and have not registered for next year yet. So I'm calling you out, Cassie. Woohoo! Um, you need to get there. And uh, yeah, Diamond Retreat. Okay, this I'm going to talk a minute on, okay? Because you've got two days left to still, so, um, to still qualify to go, okay? You have two days left to lock in diamond. You've got two days left to become the top success club earner on the team. And you have two days left to be the top recruiter on the team. Those are decisions. Those are, I'm going to work my tail off for the next two days and I'm going to make this happen. So if you want numbers, the top success club earner right now is at success club 14. And the top recruiter right now is at five new coaches this month. So those are your numbers to beat at this point. Okay. Top volume earner is Ashley Jackson and Ashley Jackson has gotten her um, spot at the diamond retreat. So she is coming with us. Um, I want to tell you guys what we're doing though, because I think this will pump you up a little bit. Okay. So Thursday night when we get there, um, I'm going to stop sharing so I can see your faces. Okay. Um, Thursday night when we get there, I'm looking to see who's on here. So Jen's here and Taylor's here and Ashley Jackson's here and they're all going. So everyone else could still be going. Um, Meg's going to get pissed at me again. I, she's probably in the chat box. Um, oh, it's Ashley Jackson. Good. Okay. So Meg was here yesterday and she's like, I want to go. So these are the things that we're doing and the things that you can still potentially get your spot there. So keep pushing guys, keep pushing. Okay. So Thursday night when we get there, I'm going to go a little early and decorate because I got decorations because I'm like that. And I'm going to go decorate and make it all fun for everybody to get there and put up presents and all that kind of stuff. And then um, Moira is a top 10 coach. She lives here locally. She's going to come on Thursday night and do wine and desserts. Well, I'm going to do wine and desserts. And she's going to come and she's going to talk business with us. She's going to talk about how she makes emerald factories. She's going to talk about how she recruits. And she's going to talk about her journey to top 10. Okay. And then Friday, Friday morning, we're going to like wake up, eat some food, work out, hang out by the beach in the pool. And then we're going on a boat. We're getting on a boat and we are sailing to a private island and we're going to hang out in the private island and there's a beach and there's like nature trails and stuff. So we're going to hang out on the island. We're bringing um, dessert and wine with us or lunch and lunch and wine with us. And we're going to hang out there from 11 to three. And then we're coming back to our, um, our house. We're going to hang out at our house and we have a private call with Chris Dowding. So Chris Downing's going to call us and we're going to hang out with Chris on video chat for a while and he's going to chat with us. And then Friday night we will probably um, get dinner or have make dinner, whatever we decide to do. And then we'll probably go out in Charleston to a rooftop bar. So that's probably what we're going to do and just chill downtown Charleston on Friday night. Saturday we're going to wake up at sunrise and we have a sunrise photo shoot. So sunrise photo shoot on Saturday. And then Saturday during the day, we have a call with corporate. Um, we have a corporate mentor call. So we are going to get one-on-one -on -one support from corporate on how we each can build our businesses. So one-on-one -on -one with everyone. So this isn't like me telling you what to do. It's corporate teaching you what to do to grow your business forward. Um, then we're going to do a team power hour. We've got tons of fun little games and activities that I can't wait to do. Um, you will cry a lot, just so you know. And then um, Saturday night, we will hang out, like we, we just got like tons of fun stuff planned. And then Sunday, um, I'm trying to think if there's anything planned. I think Sunday we're just hanging out. I think we're just gonna hang out Sunday and like go to the beach, go to the pool. We're staying at a resort, so the resort has like tons of pools. Um, they've got like bikes we could rent, they've got things we can do, um, kayaks, paddle boarding. I would love to go paddle boarding, never done it before. I think that would be awesome. Um, there's golfing if we choose to, but like there is all the stuff that um, we get to do and we want all of us there 
So as much as there are only a couple spots to join this year, next year, if every single one of your faces are diamond, I will get a huge ass place and we will all be in it. Can I get an amen? Can you guys all put in the chat box if you will be here next year? Okay, I will make it bigger and better every single year. And I will invite your downlines and I will invite their downlines and I will continue to make this a team transform me event. I am not just going to make this my personally sponsored. We might do something else, but like I am having a team retreat every single year. So yay. Um, yeah, you better invite me to yours. Like if I'm inviting you to mine, I get to get with yours. I'm just saying. So um, anyway, let's keep moving in. I want to say congratulations, Ashley. I'm so excited you're coming and I cannot wait. I will announce the next two people on Saturday morning. Um, we've got some Sarah, uh, I'm sorry, Ashley, um, Ashley Graham. I think she has two last names. So I don't know which one she goes by, but Ashley is in the lead for both of them right now. <laughs> so that means that there's runners up. So we've got some wiggle room of um, who might be joining us still. So I have no idea who is, things can change in an instant. You guys can get off this call and be like, I am going and I am hustling and it can change in an instant. So anyway, that's where we're at. Meg's gonna be there this year and next year. Love it, yes, do it, okay. Um, let me reshare my screen real quick. All righty, so that, and this is actual pictures of our house, so this is where we're staying. Um, okay, things to be inviting to, guys. We've got Project Mom starting on September 10th, I think, it's Monday, whatever that Monday is, and we also have the Change Your Friggin' Life group. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. These are the two groups that we'll be running moving forward for the fall series. My group, the Project Mom group, is gonna be a 21 day group and we'll do some other things after. And the Change Your Freaking Life group is an eight week group. Okay, so most of them are gonna be doing lift four, um, but it doesn't have to be. Um, so, Project Mom, moms mainly, if you've got someone else that like kind of falls into that realm, they don't have to be a mom, but it's focused towards moms. Change Your Freaking Life, non moms. They can be a mom, but it's more focused towards those who aren't. Um, so you can plug yourself, you can plug your people into either of these groups. You can, if you are plugging them into both, you are participating in both. You are leading in both, okay? You are going to be a leader and show up in both of the groups. Um, but you can plug your people into either of them. You can talk to all your people, and we are going to talk about how to talk about this to your people in just a minute. We've got the diastasis recti group, people. If you are talking to people that just had babies, ask them if they know if they have this. Because let me tell you, if they find out they have this, you're going to get them in because they're gonna be like, oh shit, I need this. So talk to them. If you're talking to someone who just had a baby, be like, how are you doing? How are you healing? Do you have diastasis recti? Do you even know what that is? Give them the information, empower them, show that you are caring about them and their fitness journey. Because if they have that and they don't take care of it, they will make it worse. So if you're talking to someone who just had a baby, make sure you ask. Um, the what is coaching group, keep putting your people in there, um, and your free groups that you should be having going on. Um, there's a push group. I know there was talk in our team page about Taylor and Holly doing a push group. We decided to push that off towards the end of the year, and we're going to plug people into this group. So if you are diamond or below, and I know there was a, a, at least one diamond who wanted to be in that push group, but I'll connect with her privately. Um, so if you are a dime, if you are Below Diamond, this group is going to be for you. These people, like I've met all of them, they are incredible. These people are leaders. They have value. They've got knowledge. They've done this for a while. Um, most of them have been in the top 10 multiple times, or maybe all of them have. No, uh, uh, yeah, they've all been in the top 10 at some point in their businesses. Um, so these people know what they're doing. They create diamonds on the daily. They know what they're doing. So get into this group. I think it's a $15 buy-in. I put all the information in the team page today. It starts on, two, or I think you have until Tuesday to pay the money. So $15, and the way that works is if you rank Advanced to Diamond, you get your $15 back. Um, but really, if, okay, so if 100 people join, that's $1,500 in the pot, okay? If one person ranked Advanced to Diamond, they get $1,500. If 150 people rank Advanced to Diamond, they all get their $15 back. If two do, they get $750, do the math. I'm not good at it, so I'm just doing real simple math. But you, they split the pot of whatever, um, however many people hit diamond, y'all split the pot. Um, I highly recommend this. Whenever we do push groups, it's like, so I, I'm so money driven, like this is my thing, like I love these things. So recommend doing that. Whoop, whoop. If you guys haven't heard, 
We have, if you're living under a rock, we have pumpkin spice shake allergy launching on September 17th. Guys, it's gonna sell, it's gonna sell out. It's gonna be sold out before it's even like available. So get your list going. You can talk about it, you can write about it, you can post about it, you can do live videos about it, you can tell everybody about it. Get people knowing about pumpkin spice. Um, I've got some information to share with you about it. Um, it's gonna be launching on September 17th. It's vegan, it is vegan, so know that. Um, it's only available while supplies last. So they just made, they made a batch of it, they're gonna sell it, there won't be more. So when it's sold out, it's sold out. Um, each box contains 14 single serving packets. There's no monthly subscription option, only one-time purchases. So it's a volume driver, guys, this is a volume driver. And only, um, you can buy up to five boxes in one transaction and only 20 per account. So you can have four transactions of five boxes. So if you plan to like buy a bunch of boxes and then resell them or share them or whatever you wanna do, you can only buy 20 boxes total. Um, or if you've got some crazy pumpkin spice lover, 20 boxes total. So um, make sure you act fast when it does go on sale. Make sure you act fast. Make sure you have like everyone's email address, everyone's links ready to send them as soon as this goes on sale because it will sell out. All right. Um, let's go to the next page. Things to plug into. I talk about this every time. I will say it again. We've got our team calls this time every Thursday. The Dynasty United team call is tonight at 8.53. If you guys aren't part of that group, want to be part of that group, message me or your upline. National Wake Up Calls, Mondays at 11 a.m. and the Team Beachbody 411 Facebook page. Make sure you like that page so you get into those. Um, team page announcements. Make sure you're watching the Team Transforming Coach family page. Chatterbox message thread has been really great. Um, weekly one-on-one -on -one calls with your upline. If you're not scheduling those, make sure you schedule them if you need it. And trainings. If you need more training, we have them. So just ask us. Tell us what you're struggling with and we'll get you into a training that makes sense. All right. Oh, so many things. Okay. This is the last two days to earn your success club points to qualify to be in the Shanti test group. So top 20 SC earners that are new coaches in 2018. Top 40 SC earners that um, are diamonds and below. I posted the updates the other day. Um, Ashley Miller was the one that was like in line to be qualified for this. So I'm um, hoping or so far of everybody. She was the one who was like still in the running. So I'm um, hoping she can get into that. Um, she'll be pushing a baby out while trying to do Transform 20. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> okay, guys, I've got some tips for you before we jump into things. I want you to take notes, okay? I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop sharing this and I'm just gonna talk. I want you guys to take notes. I like seeing your faces better. Stop answering messages on the fly. Stop doing it. If someone sends you a message, you do not need to reply right away. Stop doing it. Um, I don't care if that's talking about their dog or if it's talking about like, hey, I wanna buy a challenge pack. Obviously, don't wait six days. But make sure you don't think you have to answer messages on the fly all the time. Um, for starters, you're not going to get any other work done. If you're just sitting there messaging, time's going to roll right on by and you won't have done your invites, you won't have done your follow-ups, you won't have done your message, you would have done nothing except responded to a message that goes nowhere, okay? If you get stuck in just having conversations like that, it's going to go nowhere. Also, um, Set aside time to answer your messages. So on my power hour tracker, I didn't have it in there before, but like now I have it on there. So I have respond to comments, respond to messages. So like the comments on my posts and my messages, like I have a spot to like, that's a time in my power hour where I go and I just respond to messages or I just respond to comments on my posts and I make sure all my posts have, like my comments on my posts all have a response. I'm not sitting there doing that all day long, okay? Um, because, we don't want to sit on our phone all day long. I don't know about y'all, but my husband doesn't like it when I'm like da -da 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 all day long. Um, I'm sure your spouses don't support it either. And that's going to give them a bad taste about Beachbody. It's going to put a strain on your marriage. It's going to make it harder. Don't do it. Don't do it. Just don't do it. So make it, make a time for it. Also, you don't want your people that you're talking to, to see that you responded in 0.3 seconds and think that if they want to coach, they have to do that too. No one wants to be stuck to their phone. No one wants to think like, oh my gosh, she's right there. She's going to have to message. She replies in like two seconds. No one wants that. Um, so make sure you are um, showing up for your people, 
but you're not stuck to your phone. Don't think you have to be stuck to your phone. Work in your pockets, work in your power hours, whatever it is you're working in, work and then put it away. It's something that I'm really trying to work on myself, but um, you've got to do it, okay? So, um, notes. IPAs. IPA stands for, not beer. We're not drinking beer all day, okay? IPA stands for income producing activities. Do those first. The things that are income producing activities are not scrolling Facebook. Income producing activities do not include talking to someone about their dog for six hours trying to get it to a fitness conversation. No, that's not an income producing activity. Income producing activities are inviting clients and coaches to the opportunity every day. Income, um, because you have, and make sure you're doing that, okay? I'm, I'm gonna really, really hone in on this. Make sure every single day you have two buckets and you're filling them both with invites. You've got a bucket of coaches and you've got a bucket of clients. If you're missing one of those, you're, you're gonna be like this. You're, you're gonna be out of balance in your business. Your business is only going to become a rewarding, um, financially, not rewarding, but financially resort, rewarding business if you're inviting coaches. Guys, if I didn't have you guys on this call with me, what am I doing? Sitting here behind a computer screen, talking to no one, messaging people all day long. If I didn't have you guys on my team, this would not be fun for me. Know what I mean? So you need to be growing a team or it's just work. You don't have a community, okay? You are building a community, which is where it becomes fun. Also, it's where you become earning income without having to work as hard. Okay, you need to be growing a team who's creating volume to be creating your residual volume. That's how this business works. You've got to create a team if you want a sustaining paycheck. Um, I will be 100% honest with you guys and say I didn't sell a challenge pack this week. I tried my freaking hardest, but this month sucks. And I did not sell a challenge pack this week. And my paycheck was still more than $1,000 because I have a team. So when we, we all have weeks where we don't sell challenge packs, guys, right? all of us, every single one of us. And it sucks and it's hard and it makes you, it makes it hard. But if you had a team behind you and your team is still like, maybe half your team sold a challenge pack, that is going to make you still have a paycheck and make it worth your time, okay? You're not gonna feel bad that you spent all this time and didn't sell a challenge pack. You're still gonna get a paycheck. That is why you wanna make sure you are inviting to the business opportunity and to the, to the challenge groups, okay? Follow-ups. Second item on your things that create income, follow-ups. Even if they aren't going to purchase, following up and inviting are the two vital behaviors to actually grow your income. Because if you're not talking to new people and following up with people, you're never going to get those sales. You've got to keep talking to new people, not just in your messenger, like not the people that are responding to you, I mean. You've got to start new conversations, then continue the conversation. New conversations, set a time for continuing conversations. Growing your network. There's four, we've got four things, by the way, for the, for the IPAs. Four things. Invites, coach and client. Follow-ups, grow your network, meaning send at least 10 re friend requests every single day. At least 10 friend requests every single day. Um, and then new conversations. So what I do with my friend requests is whoever accepted my friend request today, tomorrow, I will go back and I will start a conversation with them. Be like, hey, so we became friends. Totally not a creeper. How are you? How are you? I see you're from Somerville too, or I see you're from Pennsylvania. Like I used to live there. Just start a conversation. Not fitness related. No invite. Just hey. Okay. They'll get an invite when they like my post later that day. But they just start a conversation. So when you do go back to invite them, you're not like, hey, I've never talked to you in my life, but do you want to join my group? No, you wanna make sure you've had a connection with everybody first. Um, if you use my tracker sheets, you've got the um, new convo column here. That would be a new convo. Like introducing yourself, those are new conversations that you're starting, okay? So that's the easiest way to start a new conversation. Um, so once you do those four things, once you do those four income generating, income producing activities, then do the rest. 
then your day is fun. Then you're plugging in with your team. You're going to your challenge group. You're doing the fun things the rest of the day. Do the hard things first and then do the rest. I am so freaking happy that I did all of my invites for Facebook. I still have to work on Instagram, but I hate it because I've never held a challenge back there. So I still have to do Instagram, but I did all of this before our team call today. So in an ideal world, like before this tracker sheet, I'd be done with my work day and I could walk away and I could be like, and let's go to the pool. I'm still going to try to do Instagram today, but I hate it. And, um, but like, it's so easy if you guys have a checklist and you do the hard things first. The other things are quick and easy. You can do them later. Okay. Um, don't scroll. Don't scroll. Don't scroll. Leah, don't scroll. <laughs> don't follow coaches. Guys, it was so, it felt so good today. I think I unfollowed eight of you. Um, but I love you guys. And if you tell me to come unicorn on your post, I will do it. But I also don't feel it's necessary that we fill our feed with each other. What does that do for us? Right? I will come love your posts. I will come check your pages out. And if you tell me, like, can you tell me how I'm doing? I will come check them out. And I will come sporadically as well. But I, if you, I didn't unfriend any of you, just so you know, don't get hurt. Okay. If you go through your, oops, go through your pages and all you're seeing, like, this is Savannah. She's a coach. I need to go Taylor, Taylor, Brittany. So I didn't know. Caitlin, I don't know who she is. Um, Heidi, Morgan. These are all coaches, guys. I am wasting my freaking time scrolling my newsfeed. Why am I scrolling my newsfeed to look at other coaches? What is that doing for my business? It's wasting my time. So what I need to do is go through here. As I'm going through, just click the little three buttons on the right side and unfollow those people as you're scrolling. Unfollow them, okay? And then you will have a news feed. But, and then as soon as you come to someone that, you, that is your person, comment on their post so you see more of them. Keep commenting on people that you want to have in their future, like, like their posts. Comment on their posts. And keep, like, I would spend 10 minutes a day just unfollowing people that don't, you'll never sell something to. This is your business. If you owned a Mercedes dealership and you had homeless people walking in, would you want to even like, they're wasting your time driving cars when they're homeless. They've got no money. They're wasting your time when you could be getting the people coming from like, I don't know, some fancy like Olive Garden next door. You could get those people to come. <laughs> fancy Olive Garden, right? Um, so you could be getting those people to come in versus the homeless person next door. Like pick your people you want to work with. Make it full of your people. Cassie's got friends. <laughs> um, so anyway, yes, makes sense. Don't waste your time. Don't waste, don't waste it. You've got, it's so precious that I want you to be able to put your phone down. I want you to be able to really absorb this lifestyle of literally going like, Hey, I work from home for three hours a day and I make a full-time income. Not I work from home for eight hours a day. And then when the kids go to bed, I have to work again. And when they're napping and I don't want you to have that lifestyle. I want you to enjoy it. Okay. <laughs> So be productive in it. Um, okay. Then let's jump back into sharing this screen real quick. Um, okay. So we're going to talk about Project Mom for a minute. Um, well, actually, we're going to talk about both the challenge groups. So for Project Mom, this group is for all mamas. We're going to be focusing on us so we can focus on everyone else. This is like our mission of this group. We're going to talk about fitness. We're going to talk about health, relationships, faith, motherhood, and more. Okay. This is the goal of this group. Um, I see somebody in the chat. Uh, she has it posted in the team page somewhere. Okay. Yeah. I will, I can change, I can post it again too, if you guys need it. Um, so then the change your friggin' life group. I didn't get this directly from Taylor and Holly, but I'm kind of assuming that this is correct. So let me know if I'm wrong, but, um, they're going to be focusing. This is for any woman, any woman could be a mom. Doesn't have to be. We'll be focusing on motivation and determination and having a good old time while doing it, like making fitness fun, talking about fitness, health relationships, fun. And it's going to be low key. It's going to be chill. It's not going to be like, um, intense or anything like that. Where did you guys go? Why can't I see your faces anymore? I hate this. Why? There you are. Found you. Um, Taylor, does that make sense, that group description? Yeah. Okay. So that's kind of their mission. Okay. So um, I was getting some feedback from some people on the team, and this is what they told me they wanted to know. How do I get everyone in this group? What do I have to do to get everyone in this group? So I bucketed it. I put it in three buckets. Like, who do we want in this group? We want our new friends. 
brand new people we find on social media. We want our current friends, right? People that we're already friends with. And then we want current customers. We want all of our people in this group. How do we do that, right? That's like our mission, right? Right now for this group, we have until September 10th. So we've got like a little less than two weeks to get everybody into this group. Um, Chat box people don't change your friggin' life. Sorry, freaking life, not friggin' life. Same thing. <laughs> um, then we, let me see. I've got my notes somewhere. Okay, so let's talk first about new friends. So our new friends that we have um, to join this group. First of all, make sure you're posting about the groups on your wall so that your new friends, when they check out your profile as you're adding people, see that you have this going on. Make sure you're posting about it maybe like every three days, I would say. Make sure you're posting about it and posting about it often and posting about it differently. Because every time you post a message, different people are gonna see it, different people are gonna respond to it, and they're going to respond to it differently. Um, so one person could be talking about Project Mom and talking about like losing the mommy belly. Another mom might not have a mommy belly, but she needs to like have some sanity. You know what I mean? Talk about it in different ways. Um, so we could be talking, I'm going to give some ideas on how to talk about Project Mom. Care for you before you care for others. Like fill your cup first. Um, feel good in your skin. Get sexy for your husband. Um, how to make, or like lead by example for your family. Um, could be like make healthy foods for your family. Like how to like incorporate nutrition into your family's lives. Some things like that. Um, how to get some more energy, how to just be confident again, um, how to like talk positively to yourself. Those are some things that you can be posting about. I mean, like all these things right here in this post. Um, I've got some, I will post all my notes in the team page after, but these are the scripts that I shared already, but I will share them again. Some public post examples for my, um, please don't use them specifically. You can change them. Um, but some scripts for using or posting about Project Mom. Then, um, new people for, okay, so same thing with the Change Your Life group. You can do, um, talk about getting healthy, talk about getting fit, talk about um, feeling confident, feeling sexy, all the same things. I mean, they are the same things, but it's just not focusing them on moms. Um, some other ideas on other ways that you can get new people. So rather than just posting, which I hope you are all doing publicly posting about these groups, um, post in your groups that you're part of. Like, so for me, post in mom groups. Hey moms, we're doing this mom boot camp. Boot camp seems to be a really good, like trigger word, by the way, people like that word, I guess. So, um, post in mom groups. If you're in any mom groups that will allow you to do that, posting yard sale pages that you're doing a mom boot camp, virtual mom boot camp. Um, post in, your church group, post in whatever groups you're part of that will allow you to post this type of thing, post in those groups because those people already love you. They already have something in common with you. You're in a common interest group already. Make sure you're sending at least 10 re friend requests every single day and then introducing yourself. I know I already said this earlier, but that is part of getting these people into these groups. If you start that relationship and then they see these messages, these posts, they're more likely to comment or like on them or whatever you're telling them to do. But you've got to be creating those relationships and growing your network every single day. So 10 people every single day, not all of them are going to accept that's okay. You don't really, I don't track them. So in terms of like, I sent Sarah, Jessica, Michael, whatever. I don't go through and I don't send guys friend requests, by the way. I don't know why that name came to my head. But um, uh, I don't track their names. I just track them as in like, I did 10. I just check them off my check boxes here. Um, I just make sure I did that. And then the next day I look at my recently added in my friends list on Facebook and just send them messages. So it just takes the like extra workout. There's no reason to track them if they're not going to respond to any, in my opinion. Um, okay. Friends, our current friends that we already are friends with. How can we get our friends to join this group? If you're like me, you're so nervous about asking your friends to join this group. Why? Why are you nervous to ask your friends? Because they're the ones who are going to talk to your other friends and be like, oh my God, she asked me to join her group. And oh my God, it's so annoying. And blah, blah, blah. That's what's going to happen. You know it is. Guess what? They're not your friends. Those friends suck. Stop caring what those friends think. Talk to the people that you like. Okay? So I want you guys to get over your damn self 
Quit caring what people think and send your people some messages, okay? We know that this changes lives. If they don't wanna believe it and they wanna sit there, drink their Bud Light on their Friday night, cool, fine. We're gonna get healthy. We're gonna change our freaking lives, okay? And if they wanna join us, we want them to join us. So I've got a couple messages that I will post in the team page again, but simple messages like this are exactly what has started a bunch of conversations with me during my power hour today. If you're inviting to the mom group, invite every single mom on your friends list. Go through your friends list and just invite the moms and say, hey girl, I don't know if you've seen my post, but I'm starting a mom boot camp next month. I feel like this is gonna be our best group ever and I'm inviting all of my mommy friends. How are you doing with your fitness goals? So simple, you don't have to have ever talked about your fitness goals before, never talked about anything. You're inviting them because she's a mommy friend. You're telling her why you're inviting her, what it is, how are you doing? That's it, start the conversation. Same with non-mommy friends, if you're inviting to the Change Your Freaking Life group. Um, hey, we're doing a super fun Change Your Freaking Life boot camp starting next month, and I feel like you would love it. I wanted to check in to see how you're doing with your own personal fitness goals. Simple, easy, send the invite. Those are invites, guys. Do you know how many copy and pasted invites you could send in like five minutes? I'm telling you, don't do more than 20 because Facebook will block you. <laughs> so do like do five, do something else, do five, do something else if you're copying and pasting. If you're going to personalize, you're fine. You can send as many as you want. But if you are copying and pasting, I don't mean just saying like, hey, Sarah, hey, Jessica, they will still flag you. If you're like personalizing your message, you can send as many as you want. But if you're copying and pasting, limit yourself so you're not going to get flagged. Um, another really easy way to do this is get on your phone and go into Messenger and send the message to one person hold down that little message and hit the forward button. Send it to all your mommy friends. Makes it super easy. You can send like 105 seconds. Okay, um, a quick little note. I do recommend liking one of their posts or commenting on one of their posts before you hit that message so that they know you're not just like spamming them and that you actually like saw something of theirs and like you thought of them kind of thing. Um, I would recommend liking or commenting on one of their posts as well as sending the message. All right, so that's your friends. Invite your friends, okay? Current customers, do the same thing. That same exact message is appropriate for customers. Hey, we're doing this group. How are you doing with your fitness goals? Totally the same thing. Get the customers you signed last year. Go through your customer list in your back online office and go through there and check to see, um, not your customer orders list, your customers list, and see everybody that ordered from you. And go through there and just invite all of your customers. Go back, because there's gonna be people you forget about that you haven't talked to in forever, okay? Um, and then just plug them into the group. We've got that landing page. Um, if you need more information or do they need information, like you can direct them there and, but they don't need to fill that out in order for you to sign them up. Like just make a list, make a paper list. I'm going to stop sharing so I can see your faces. Um, just make a paper list of everyone. So I've got mine started. This is like my little, my little baby list right here. Um, of everyone that you're going to add to Project Mom. And then as soon as the Project Mom group is up and open, I'll add, I will post it in the team page. You guys can add yourselves and then you can add all your people. Cool? Make sense? Simple? Questions? I'm done, so we've got plenty of time. We've got questions. Somebody's got a question. Jen does, of course. <laughs> I can always count on you, thank you. I, no, actually, I just wanted to know, I love your trackers that you yeah work off of do you have them posted in the team page somewhere or I did if uh, they're in there but i will repost them as soon as we go um i'm gonna repost them as we're talking cool thank you yeah um tuesday spelled wrong don't judge me um it wasn't my fault it was my asian designer gotcha <laughs> so you just print them out for each day yeah okay so I print, like I did my whole week on Monday and I printed them all out and then I just follow them every day. We've even got a Saturday and Sunday. Guys, I don't work hard on Saturday and Sunday, but I do work. Um, I'm trying to see. I think they're downstairs. Oh, no, here's one. So this is Sunday. So it's not like this is a weekday. This is a Sunday. Very different, but still showing up. So I'm still inviting 10 people a day on Instagram and Facebook. If Instagram doesn't sell King Challenge Pack, I'm done, by the way. Um, 
follow 10 people, post twice on Instagram, post twice on Facebook, do five stories on each, and then follow my 10 people on each and 10 invites on each and still check in with my team. That's what I do. And this is the same for Saturday and Sunday. So I'm still showing up because I find personally, if I don't, I lose my momentum. So this, this half hour, maybe. So rather than waking up and like working out because we don't have to work out on Saturday, Sunday. Brittany. Oh, hold on. Hold on. I muted you. Yeah. When you say you do five stories for a while, I was doing like a lot of my workout, like on my stories, but then I felt like it was getting like boring. So then I, so now like recently, like I've been doing like a little bit of my workout, just like one or two It's like, so when you say five stories, do you mean five stories in general or just five stories of your workout? So I, um, hate Instagram, but, uh, a lot from Instagram though. Like a lot of people from Instagram. I, I mean, hold on. Let me look at my story right now. I mean, 360 people liked my story and I will message them and nobody will even reply to me or they'll be like, I'm from Afghanistan. And it's like, I was looking at my stuff. But anyway, um, so the way that I recommend doing it, in like in an ideal world of like, hey, I know what I'm doing, I would recommend doing your workout. I do my workout on Instagram every day. Like I do every move on Instagram, like just one of every move on Instagram every day. Um, and I feel like showing up on Instagram is the same way that I show up on Facebook. I do it in my stories like that. So I do it on Instagram every day. But that doesn't mean it, even if it's 20 in stories from your workout, I don't say I would still do something else during the day. Show people your life, show people your coaching, that kind of thing. So right now on my story, if you guys want to go look at it, I was at the pool yesterday working. Um, and I did some stories about like, about my trackers actually. So I could like show people, this is how we work. And then at the end of it, um, I did like a picture and I said like, you want to do this with me? And I had a poll and it says a hundred percent, hundred percent of the people said, train me. Let me see. Let's see who even two votes for train me. I don't know about that. I don't know about those people, but, um, two people said that they want me to train them. So now I'll reach out to those people that makes things a little bit easier for me. Yeah, exactly. Brittany. Yes. Instagram story. This would be a great time to Instagram story. Like here, I'll make a story right now. Um, hold on. Okay. So I'm going to do, hold on. I should have done a boomerang because now it's weird noise in the background. Okay. Everybody wave. Okay. So now I just did a little boomerang and you guys are waving. You're so cute. And I'm just going to be like, uh, favorite part of my week. Favorite part of my week is seeing these gorgeous faces. And then you can tag people if you want. I'm not going to just for time's sake. And you just add that to your story. Just a quick little stories like that, just to show people like the lifestyle. Like, what are you doing? What does this look like? What is like, and then one day I talked about, oh my gosh, if you ask for advice in your stories, that's so good. So good. Do, um, oh my God, my kid won't sleep at night. Help me moms. And like, make it like, be like, moms, I need help. You're going to get them all to respond to you. Or, oh my gosh, I cannot believe that, uh, my kid's not potty trained and she's five, like, or whatever. Or did, did you send your kids to preschool? I did this one. Did you send your kids to preschool? And I had to have like 30 messages. I'm like, y'all, I really, I don't care that much. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like just start conversations about anything. You can, um, whatever's going on in your life, even if you don't really need advice, take it with a grain of salt and just ask for it. Ask for advice. You might find some really awesome relationships out of it. So. I'd recommend doing that. Um, oh, did you tag her in it, Brittany? The, the doc, are they up there already? Okay. So if you guys didn't see the trackers, um, they should be popped back up to the top of the page in the team page. Um, anybody else? Those trackers are intense, guys. I'm telling you, they're intense. They're amazing, but they are intense. But 
if you do them, like just do them as much as you can, if you can't fill, finish them, like they take me a solid three to four hours sometimes. So, um, these trackers are intense, but it, I do Instagram and Facebook. So it's basically like doing double power hours plus all the things at the bottom that I usually have to add to like retreat schedule and doing all the other things that are required on behind the scenes. So, but I don't say that the power hour takes me three to four hours. I mean, like my work day is three to four hours. Cool. Anybody else? Anybody pushing for this retreat still? <laughs> Brittany's like, shut up. I've got to be there. <laughs> um, all right. And just so you guys know, if you are pushing for this retreat and you do not get it, I do still love you. We will have other opportunities. You're welcome to come down and see me anytime you want. And um, next year you will have ample opportunity to go because you will know far in advance and you will be a diamond and it won't even matter. Right? All righty. Well, I will talk to you guys soon. If you guys need me, you know where to find me. Okay. Bye, guys.